Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, the Lord Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah, our righteousness, the righteous Father in heaven, the Holy Father Jehovah El Olam Elohim. Uh, he spoke with me today. He has spoken with me today. And in this very, very mighty conversation today, the Lord spoke with me on this day. Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God. And in this conversation, I saw the tremendous cloud of the Lord come down from heaven with fire. Again, today I saw the tremendous cloud of the Lord come down from heaven with fire, with the biggest blast of fire I have never seen. Jehovah, our refiner, the Lord, our sanctifier, he came down with a big cloud and a fire there in a dream. And then the Father spoke by voice, spoke to me by voice when the cloud came like this, then the fire billowed out of it also. A billow, billowing like a funnel, like a funnel of a furnace. And then by voice, the father said, the king of the throne, again, in this fearful conversation of the Lord, the Lord came down in a huge cloud of his glory, and with fire inside the cloud. When the cloud came down, then he billowed fire, the consuming fire, Jehovah, the consuming fire. Out of the massive cloud of his glory came billow fire, like that, fire. And then by voice, the Father said, the king of the throne. So surely today the king has spoken. These are the days we live in. These are tremendous days of his visitation. Surely the Messiah is coming. Let people repent and turn away from wickedness. Because our God is the consuming fire, as you see in the Bible. And yet he has loved us enough to still whisper to us this message of repentance and the return to him in righteousness and absolute holiness. That people may get to see the glorious kingdom of God. Jehovah, our sanctifier, has spoken on this day. And it shall be known that the mouth of the Lord has spoken, because these are the days we live in. The days when he is going to sanctify the church and purify the church. The consuming fire, his other name. May the Lord bless all those who have the ears to listen and hearken to his word. Shalom.